Last week, a significant portion of the internet seemed to grind to a halt. Favorite streaming services buffered endlessly. Work collaboration tools went offline. Online stores failed to load their product images. The culprit was a major outage at Amazon Web Services, or AWS. In the hours that followed, a familiar question arose. Was this a sophisticated cyber attack? Amazon was quick to clarify that it was not. The problem was an internal technical failure, a complex system tripping over its own feet. While the absence of a malicious actor might seem like a relief, the incident reminds us of a deeper risk woven into our digital infrastructure. The core issue is not digital warfare but digital architecture. When a foundational service stumbles, shockwaves hit thousands of companies and millions of users at once. To understand the outage, you first need to understand what AWS actually is. The term the cloud can be misleading. In reality, it is very physical, a global network of massive secure data centers. Inside are rows of powerful servers, vast storage systems, and high-speed networking gear. Instead of buying hardware, companies rent computing, storage, and services from AWS. It is cheaper, more flexible, and often more reliable than doing it themselves. Think of AWS as a shared utility, much like electricity for a new office. Startups can plug in, launch quickly, and scale as users grow. It has been a game changer. That is why so many daily services rely on AWS, from photo apps and movies to work tools, games, and smart devices. But deep interdependencies mean a failure in one vital part can ripple across seemingly unrelated services. A small problem can escalate fast. Amazon's postmortem traced the outage to a failure in a specific subsystem acting like a service directory. When the directory failed, it was as if every phone book in a major city went blank. Services knew they needed to connect, but no longer knew how. Apps relying on the directory began failing. Stores lost images, platforms could not authenticate, and even internal diagnostic tools slowed the response. This is a single point of failure. Redundancy exists, but single region designs can still take entire services down. Spreading across providers and regions reduces risk, but adds complexity and cost. Hard trade-offs for smaller teams. Affordability versus resilience is the crux of modern cloud risk. The outage was a wake-up call and a roadmap for mitigating risk. Responsibility is shared among cloud providers, companies, and end-users. For builders on AWS, plan for failure. It is not if, but when. Design for resilience. Break monoliths into microservices so one failure does not fell the whole. Use multi-cloud or hybrid approaches. If one provider has an outage, reroute to another or keep critical systems on private servers. These strategies add cost and complexity. But for banking and healthcare, redundancy is a necessity. Beyond architecture, communication is resilience. Silence breeds panic. Honest, frequent updates help users and partner teams act. Fast, transparent communication turns chaos into a managed incident and builds trust. The great AWS outage of 2025 was not a malicious attack, and for that, we can be grateful. It revealed immense power and efficiency, and a hidden fragility. Our digital lives lean on a few massive, centralized pillars. When one wobbles, the structure shakes. The path forward is clear. Engineer for resilience not just uptime. Invest in smarter design, diversify dependencies, and test failure plans before a crisis. Treat resilience as a core product feature. Keep critical files backed up locally, not just in the cloud. Maintain offline payment and communication fallbacks to turn crises into minor hiccups. There is no magic bullet, only diligent, ongoing work to strengthen our digital foundations.